Yo guys, what's up? Sure Goblin here, and on today's video, I have an array of knives and stuff I want to show you guys, and a lot of these you probably have already seen, but I just wanted to show you guys what all I had right now as far as my collection, and honestly, some of the best knives that I've currently had over the few years. Now, the one that I'm leaving out is... Hang on. Dragon Blade, which, if y'all haven't ever played Far Cry 3, y'all won't be familiar with it, but this is kind of what the blade looks like in Far Cry 3. It's one of these with the waves and stuff. And the reason I'm not bringing it in is because it's not a knife. It's just a piece of decoration, but it is sharp, ultra sharp. And if you were to cut yourself on one of that, it would not be good. First knife I have is actually goes with my fishing tackle right here, which is my uh, cutting knife that I use for like chopping up uh, squid and and crabs and stuff like that, and just chopping up bait and liver as well. As you can see, it's got a little bit of liver and stuff on it, so and it's got a rubber handle which is good because I mean it doesn't it doesn't get too hot whenever I'm outside fishing and stuff and I can just take and chop whatever I need up and it works good so and I got this at Walmart for I think like $25 so it's not that bad of a knife and that's the main reason I got it now my first ever knife that I ever got that was actually a straight on knife was this one right here, an Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment. And it was the first knife that I ever had. It's not really that sharp anymore. In fact, I could rub my hand up against it. It's, it's dull as anything. But it was a good knife at one point. It's got the uh, thing right here, which my friend, one of my friends would actually like having one of these knives because, I mean, it's a good... I don't even have the sheath for it anymore. I think I threw that away because it tore up. It broke down on me, so now I just have the knife. I'm going to see if she can maybe sharpen this knife up again and see if we can use it again. But it's a good knife, and I like it a lot. I had it, I've had this thing for about seven years now, and it was my first ever um, knife, actual knife, besides the folding knife that I used to have when I was a kid. Now this knife right here, I bought at work. It's an outdoor edge razor blaze knife. And the cool thing about this knife is the blade comes out like this. But I've been trying to look for more blades and stuff because they, do, they don't last you very long. And you have to replace them over time. Let's see if I can, if I can even get the dang thing in there. And it's a good knife and all. I mean, it's good for work and stuff like that. That's what I mainly use it for. It's why it's so dirty. But as far as the blades, they're too expensive. I mean, for a six pack, a six pack of blades, of replacement blades cost $60. Now, I'm not paying $60 for a replaceable blade. Whenever I can just have a folding knife where you, all you have to do is just sharpen the blade. And I have had, I have tried sharpening the blade, but it's not that easy. My next one is actually this one right here. And I got this in a uh, pack at Walmart on their display knives. And best thing is it has the Freddy, Freddy Cougar or no. Freddy Bear, or whatever you call him, from five, from five Nights at Freddy's. And the blade on this thing is super sharp. I had a friend of mine sharpen it up for me, and it has been sharp ever since. And it's a mossy oak, which mossy oak, I've learned, isn't really that good of a 
brand for knives and stuff, but when my friend sharpened this thing up, it has stayed sharp since. In fact, I've cut myself several times trying to put it back on the sheath and stuff. And the handle is good. It's it's a really good knife. I haven't used it that much in reality, but I mean, if I was to go out, I'd actually take most of these knives with me if I ever had to go out in a survival situation or whatever, but this knife, I mean, it's really bulky and heavy, but I do like it. I mean, it's got a nice handle to it and stuff. I like it. But now the uh, outside leather, this is just your cheap average leather that will tear up within a few years and stuff. So, And if you ain't careful and you take this thing out, you can cut this, this piece right here. It will cut, so you have to sort of, when you're pulling out, you have to sort of hold that thing back as you're pulling out your blade. Because if that blade rubs up against this leather right here, it will tear that up. Next up, this one, which I got at a gun and knife uh, thing. And this one has actually been one of my favorite knives to use recently. I use them for opening up boxes and just carving up sticks and stuff. And I like it a lot. It's a good looking knife. And it kind of reminds me of like something you would take with you to World War II and stuff for, I guess, or Vietnam. And it kind of reminds me of the Rambo knife, basically. And I got this thing for like, I don't know, I think $50 the gun sales store i mean it was, the guy told me it was a lot more in price but he was willing to give it to me for 50 dollars so i bought it and i like the uh the sheath for it too i mean you can carry this thing on your backpack and stuff so yeah it's good all around rambo style knife although it doesn't have the little top piece like rambo had but it kind of reminds me of the rambo knife they used and then we get to this one, which is a Gerber knife. And I've used this knife for a while now. Made in the U.S. Portland. And the blade is super sharp. I like it a lot. It's got the rubber handle, too. And I've even seen people uh, test these the strength on this thing. And I wouldn't never do that, but I mean, it's, it lasts, it actually passed the test. And as you can see on here, not sure if you can see that or not, but it says Gerber right there. So, yeah. I like Gerber knives and Gerber machetes and stuff. I like the Gerber brand. And then I got this one over in North Carolina right here, which I don't think I've ever shown you guys this knife right here. It's a good all around look handmade knife. I like the handle. It's very basic. Um, the Bone Collector USA. So I'm wondering if that's actually real bone or not. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. BC 87871 YBN Handmade Pakistan. So that's where it was made. Right there. There you go. And then, and let me make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. It comes with two of these little knives right here, which you guys saw me use one of these yesterday to open up the box. So, which I want to know what these things are actually for exactly. Like, why are they there? So, I mean, are they like a little boot knife? That you just put in your boot and then you chunk it at somebody. And then I've got my first ever kukri, which I like the kukri. This is a good knife. It's still sh ultra sharp, really sharp. It's got a thick head on it right up there. And I used I used uh, this thing mainly whenever I was helping my mom out in the yard and stuff, and I was hacking at things, and this thing worked perfectly. 
I mean, it, within two whacks, just gone. And I like the decoration on, on the top right there. I like the handle right there. And um, I don't know what kind of wood that is, but I do also like the little butt end right there. You could actually whack somebody on that if you wanted to. But it's solid and stuff. It's really well made. Well made. Um, which was in Nepal, which is where these things are made. And I've learned that you don't want to get one made in the U.S. Because, I mean, they're good in the U.S. and stuff, but in Nepal, that's where the real smiths are that make these things. And I've even contacted a few of them. So, all around a good yard working tool and then i got this in north carolina as well which is a throwing star which this one i actually only got for like five dollars five or three dollars a piece so you don't really want to throw this because it's not it's mainly used for like decoration and stuff i mean it is sharp don't give don't like right now i'm i almost cut myself on these razor edges right there but other than that, you don't want to throw it because it will damage the blade like that right there. It went from a pointiness thing to just, a sh it actually broke the tip off a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but it broke the tip off. So, I mean, it's good around looking, something cool you can actually display. But as far as using it, it has no really, it really has no use. So, yeah, pretty much useless, just something to have. And then this one is my number one new favorite knife in the world, an OTF knife. And let me see here. This thing has a cool looking safety feature, which stops the blade. And then in order to fix that, all you have to do is pull the blade out until you do that. And then it's fixed. Like that. And it's harder to do with my other hand because my other hand isn't strong when it comes to that sort of stuff. But it's a good looking knife. I like the color. I like it. And I may, I may actually take this to work and test it out. But I like the rainbow pattern on it. That or I may just show it off to my coworkers and show them. They would be pretty amazed with this thing. $53 is what this thing cost me. And I wasn't sure if it was worth it back then but they told me on the phone it was pretty worth it so i ended up getting it and i'm not disappointed at all so that is all my knives right now that i have my other knives um that i currently have are either the house or at work but these are the ones that i currently have on hand that i wanted to show you and plus they're the most important to me and they're the most recent ones I've gotten over the year. I got this one this year at the beginning, as well as I got that one last year in October. I got this one this year a few months ago. I got this one a few months ago, which I lost the sheath, unfortunately. And the rest of these are all history. So, but yeah, I am going to try to give me some more blades for these, but right now, as far as price and goes i'm not paying that much money for six blades only six it's ten dollars a blade basically and they're not that worth it so yeah but without further ado i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i look forward to collecting some more knives in the near future as well as a couple other things too and testing them out see how they work and yeah, I look forward to the future. So, 
Without further ado, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.